Welcome to part number nine of Gran Turismo 5 A Spec. This is the Moving Chicane, and today we're going to be doing the Jeff Gordon NASCAR School. So we're going to learn the secrets behind NASCAR's racing from four times NASCAR's. Okay, let me start that over because I want to update this for current times. Learn the secrets behind NASCAR racing from four time Monster Energy NASCAR Series champion Jeff Gordon. Here it goes the shitty, the really shitty cutscene. Hi, I'm Jeff Gordon, professional NASCAR driver. I'm here to teach you driving techniques that are very special to NASCAR racing. NASCAR is a race series with a lot of history, having started back in 1947. Though they're still called stock cars, today's NASCAR race cars are built on steel tube frames. NASCAR regulations require the car to be 3,400 pounds, which is kind of heavy for a competition racing car, but because of this, driving techniques for NASCAR require that much more precision, care, and finesse. The engine is a 358 cubic inch carbureted overhead valve V8. Now just hearing this, it might sound like old technology to you, but that's really not the case. Even though these NASCAR engines are OHV, they rev up to 10,000 RPM. Any engine expert would know that this requires the same level of technology as an F1 racing, which has double overhead cam engines revving up to 20,000 RPM. The transmission is a four speed. That's why you have to select the gear ratios to match each track. This setup of gear ratios is very important. In NASCAR, there's less difference in the performance of each race car, as compared to other categories of racing. That's why just a slight difference in the settings or the difference in driver skill can lead to winning or losing. Most NASCAR races are on an oval track. Though an oval track is very simple in shape, it's that very shape that makes it require unique driving techniques. One of the first things you'll need to learn is drafting in other people's slipstream. The closer that you get to the car in front of you, the more you reduce aerodynamic drag of your car to overtake your opponents. Drafting is a technique that is of course required in all kinds of racing, but on an oval track, it becomes crucial. Because there are no low speed corners, you can draft at any time. But remember, the better the draft, the less the downforce. Enough with the talking, let's get you into the car. You ready to drive? I'll see you on the track. I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, so we have the beginner, intermediate, and advanced courses, which we're all gonna do in one video. Um, yeah, so Jeff Gordon said it himself, we're gonna learn how to race a NASCAR. So, yeah, the reason why, just like the Grand Tricks McCarty Academy, why I don't do this in separate videos is because there's really not that much length in terms of these events. Literally, we're going to be doing a drafting, uh, we're going to do a drafting challenge here with the Jimmy Johnson number 48 Hendrick Motorsports car. And, yeah, I mean, that's, that's about it. We do a drafting challenge here, and then we do another drafting challenge with, like, six other cars at Daytona. And that's, that's it. I know, right? Ready? Everyone knows that Sebastian Vettel won the Daytona 500 back in 2011. Oh yeah, so we draft the number 48 of Jimmy Johnson, just right ahead. That's it. And there's a big one! Jeff Gordon hits the wall! Excellent. There you go. I had to, I had to do something. Okay, I will, Plepking. I will. Alright, um... I guess I'll save the replay. Yeah, I guess that'll be funny if my car going in the air and I... I fucking learn... I'm learning how to drive a NASCAR by wrecking. Like, yeah, I guess that makes sense, because... Har har NASCAR, you crash all the time, big one. So now we're gonna draft with multiple cars. I think there's like six cars on track. So Dale Earnhardt Jr., Tony Stewart, Juan Montoya, or Kyle Larson and nowadays, Jimmy Johnson, and myself. Oh, four of the cars, okay. Juan 
One Jet Dryer Destroyer Montoya. Ready. Oh, if you didn't know, if you really don't know, Jason, Montoya was a NASCAR from like 20, or from 2006 to like 2013? So yeah, now we're gonna draft up to Tony Stewart on the high side into turn one. Coming out of two, let's go on the bottom and start drafting off Earnhardt. And we're gonna get him on the back stretch here. Well done. <laughs> yeah, Butters was so goddamn funny in that episode. Your inner Marshall. Wait, are you a Marshall Ender? Don't mess with my emotions, bro, if you are. Yeah, his first win was in Sonoma. Final win was uh, Watkins Glen, 2010. Dodge? Was he? Wasn't Ganassi with Dodge in like 2007? Can't spell. He, yeah, he was driving for Doge. But my mind read it as Dodge anyways. So it's time for the intermediate section, which now we're gonna be learning how to drive on the inside and the outside. What's up, Diego? Well, I'm learning how to drive a NASCAR. Jeff Gordon is teaching me. The <laughs> Dogecoin. <laughs> What's up, Diego? How are you, man? Such race. So, yeah, let's go ahead and learn how to drive on the inside at Daytona. All right, second race. attempt. Got to do a little bit better. Just avoid the yellow line. Don't be like Justin Haley. Just avoid the yellow line as much as possible. Be nice and smooth with the wheel down on the inside. There we go. Got it. Perfect. Sweet. Got the job done. <laughs> Oof. I know, right? I had to mention Haley. The heartbreak of the century. Yeah, yeah, well, I'll do that after the recording's over, Ender. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do fails on purpose once the recording is over. But first, we're going to drive on the inside at Indianapolis. Now, this one has to be much easier because you have to actually go slower in the corners because it's IMS. Thick profile pick. Oh, you're talking about Ender. All right, so, turning off TCS. <laughs> Okie dokie literature club. Let's make Jeff Gordon proud. Are you ready? I like how he says, are you ready after I start the exam? Yeah, that was easy. Perfect. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Seventy thousand credits, more XP, nearly level whatever. I think eighteen. Are you ready? <laughs> like, yeah, I, I, I'm ready. We just started the actual event. <laughs> Are you ready? Perfect. A Chase Elliott Racing School. Yeah, I mean, I can see that happening. If NASCAR were to come back and they were to do some sort of special event like this, they'd probably have Chase. Like, okay, Diego, using your special, using your special expertise, who's like the young, who's the hottest young driver right now in NASCAR? Like in terms of like chances of winning, popularity, etc., that they could star in a NASCAR school in Gran Turismo. Because remember, for the Vettel challenge, they did Vettel because he was the young world champion. Blah blah blah. All right, so now we're driving on the outside of Daytona. This should be way easier. They're using the bumper can because I don't want to hit the cones. There we go. Got it on the first try. Excellent. Oh, yeah, Stephen Bailey. How is Bailey? No, he never raced NASCAR. Guys, Bailey only raced in Formula One. Level 18. There we go. I know you see me standing here. Do I look good, my dear? New quick time. 
All right, they wanted Indy should be even easier because outside driving and having to let you lift. Ryan Blaney, that's another one they could use for the school. I mean, Gordon is, you know, he's a legend, so they literally had him, like, you know, he was at his prime still in 2010, I would say. So, you know, he's, he's good to be the face of the NASCAR school, most recognizable name, yada, yada, yada. How long am I going to be streaming for? Uh, maybe another hour? I don't know. Alright, here we go. Ready? Yeah, that was way too easy. Excellent. Excellent. Kyle Busch Racing School? That could be another guy who could host the school, maybe. Okay, so that's the intermediate NASCAR school done. Now it's time to do the advanced portion. Ooh, we're gonna go full advanced now. Jeff Gordon with Danica in the game. Oh my god, that would be terrible. All right, time for the advanced portion of the school. And we have three different challenges. We have exiting pit lane and two, uh, two lap challenges for Indy and Daytona. So, race day exiting pit lane. Oh boy, so we're starting up front. Then it's Montoya, Johnson, Almendinger. <laughs> Kyle Busch racing school would just be him teaching you how to flip people off. So in NASCAR, the position that we you enter the field after a pit stop is crucial and can greatly affect how you how your oh uh, how events develop. Here you will be experiencing this for real. Leave the pits and join the pack, then use drafting to overtake as many of your opponents as possible before reaching the finish line. Ready? Okay, so we're trying this again. Um, I have to go behind a specific car in that little pack in order to actually get a chance to win this. Because I, I popped into the into the crowd of cars way too quickly. So here we go. Four, four tires and fuel. Yeah, car on your left. Car on your right. Flare outside. Be careful as you split. We might just have to go full Austin Dillon and just wreck the leader to win this. Who knows? <laughs> just replace the pit crew with Guido. <laughs> yeah, clearly that's gonna work. So I'm gonna have to slot behind Tony Stewart and Denny Hamlin. There they go, so now I go. There's Cabouche right behind us. Yeah, look at that. Now I get the draft off of Stewart. Who then is gonna let me get a draft off of Hamlin? Got Cabouche. Jesus Christ, the automatic ASM really sucks. Scrub off way too much speed in the corners. I guess it's kind of like a handicap, so that way you don't like completely destroy the field by just cutting in front of everybody. Maybe that's what it's for. Then I pass Logano, or Eric Jones, or whoever you want to call him. He's driving a 20 now. Yeah, F1 is really competitive. Only one second between myself and Earnhardt who's leading, I think. That's Almendinger right right ahead. Oh, that's Edwards, never mind. It looks like it's 2010 car. And there we go! Jeff Gordon with a late pit stop is gonna win at Daytona! Excellent. Yay, we did it. Damn, 216 grand. That's a lot of money. A lot of dollar dues for that. Okay, so we have two more NASCAR challenges to go.
which are two lap battles without pitting. How Jeff Gordon makes a comeback. Hey, <laughs> destroys the car. Excellent. So yeah, I guess the whole scenario here is a full course caution forces the drivers to slow down and hold their current position for the end of the race challenge. We're basically doing a green white checkered here. It's the green white checkered at the Brickyard 400, and yeah, we're gonna win the race from all the way in the back. Ready? Okay, trying this again. So I can smack the wall all I want, but I can't smack any other cars, which is kind of odd. But okay. Here we go. But here we go, trying this again. Another green-white checkered. Oh, it's a second overtime. There you go. So going in inside of Almendinger. Went and dropped off. Oh, damn. We didn't pass Vickers this time. Which might be good, because we can draft off of them. We had a bigger gap between ourselves and Kyle Busch, so at least we have Vickers ahead of us in order to give us a bit of a toe. P3. Yeah, you don't want to go on the high side. Not like that. Yeah, the ASM is really killing me. At least we're in fourth. We can get around Edwards on, you know, into turn three, maybe. Or hell, even before turn three. Maybe on the back stretch we can get Edwards. Holy shit, Chris. They're going straight to hell, dude. <laughs> no, of course not. I know that, Jason. All right, we win at Indy. Good job, yeah. <laughs> Good job, yeah. <laughs> so the car's totally not destroyed. I'll see non-smoke. Yeah, Ender, do that, please. I'd like to hear that engine. And we're level 19. So only one more challenge to go, which is at Daytona. Another green-white checker challenge at the World Center of Racing. Thanks, Barney. I love dying. So here we go. Time for the finale of the NASCAR school. See if we can use all the lessons we've learned from Jeff Gordon himself. I know he didn't really teach us much. I feel like we've just been driving this whole time and just been... I don't know. You know, I don't... You know what I don't understand? Why do people drive in the truck series? Why do they go to Xfinity? They can just take the Jeff Gordon driving school. They can learn how to race NASCAR. I mean, am I right or am I right? Alright. Ready? So, yellow came out and now we're gonna actually try again. This time, we brought out the caution to help us go, go, go. and... Yeah, let's try this again. I know, right? Sick burn. So I'm going to follow Johnson instead of getting around Montoya on the inside. There we go. That's what I had to do. So, I'm in the tell, and I catch up to these boys. And yeah, coming out of four, going to the tri-oval, and we're going to have a shot now to win. 
because now we're in the pack. Now I can start making moves on these guys to get to the lead. Oh shit, I thought I was going to fail. Alright, so using the mirror because I don't want to deal with any bullshit behind me. Because this is Daytona after all. Fuck it, we're going to go on the inside. We can get around Hamlin and Cabrush. There we go. Then we have to block like crazy. Don't let Bush or Hamlin, don't let the Gibbs guys buy, buy us. Oh shit, Hamlin! Yay, we win Daytona. Woo! Great job, yeah. Yeah, Cabrush. What's up, Tyler? Okay, well, that is the NASCAR school complete. Yay, we did it. Thanks, Ender. I'll take a look at it after the stream is done. Maximum attack. Yeah, Daytona 500 champion. You know, I want to thank uh, Budweiser, Pepsi, M&M's, uh, Banquet Meals, uh, Chevron, and whatever other American ass sponsors you can think of. McDonald's, I don't know. Okay, so what we win is this. For bronze, we win a classic muscle car gift coupon. For gold, we win a NASCAR gift coupon. Please don't be another Kyle Busch car. And we win a modern muscle car for silver. McDonald's, yeah. Okay, so which classic muscle car are we gonna get? Please don't be a cougar. Or a Cobra. I, I want a different car. I don't want to get the same car, please. I don't want a repeat car, because that would suck. That really would suck. Standard. It's a Shelby? Nice! Okay. GT350R? That's... I'll take that. That is a sick car. I love these Shelby GT350s. We might use this in the Supercar Nostalgia Cup. I don't know. But yeah. Um, yeah, here it is. Shelby GT350R from 65. Hey, if I get a Montoya car, that'll be pretty cool. For silver, now we get a modern muscle car. So what modern muscle car do we get? Closing my eyes, because when I hear the music, I'm going to open my eyes. It's premium. Okay. Okay. We have we have the 05 version, which is standard. Now we get the 07 one, which is premium. So that means one thing. We don't have to... Well, we have two versions of this car. Which, hey, you know what? It's the 07 model. I can't, I can't complain. We're going to kill some crowds now, boys. So yeah, um, for those who haven't watched the B-Spec LP, I'll show you guys which one I got. So this one I got for winning the Muscle Car Championship in B-Spec. Oh, that's the Speedster. My car. Yeah, imagine, Jason. So yeah, I got this for winning the B-Spec uh, Muscle Car Championship, and now I got the 07 model for winning a NASCAR school, which I can't complain. This is a different car, technically, so I'll take it. And now it's time for to get the NASCAR coupon. Okay, please don't be a Kyle Busch car. Hey, smoke! Tony Stewart! I'll take it! At least it's not a Kyle Busch car. I already have one of those. Fortunately. So, here it is. Tony Stewart Impala. Good old Smoke. The good old IndyCar champion. Alright, so that is it for the NASCAR school. Next time on Gran Turismo 5 A-Spec, we're going to do the intermediate portion of the AMG Driving Academy.